And thank you, thank you for allowing me to be here. It's thank you, thank you so much. Leonardo sat on the hill, dreaming of flight, filling his sketchbooks with wing movements, aerodynamic assumptions, probability theories devoid of disaster, is when Picasso crash-landed his pigments into my retina, blinding me to stoic grid works, refilling with deconstructed kaleidoscopes thrown hell all to the wind, is when Mozart exploded into my aorta, seizing from me breath, absconding with wings, I had earmarked to traverse mediocrity. They poised me on a precarious ledge and sneezed, abstracting my skull upon the sidewalk below, preventing all else that would dare encroach upon the unpoisoned realm of my infant perception. I became Gallerina and made love to Salvador Dali upon a soft, timeless canvas. I kissed Michelangelo goodnight after caressing his tortured spine, blessing him with olive oil in the 91st Psalm, easing his painful writhing derived from exhausting sessions, depicting ascensions of cherubim, leaving him spent to dream of his next revelation to be rendered across fresco skies of the Sistine Chapel, painting our fingertips so close to the divine across the divide the mural disintegrating into dust of the stars, perfuming the heavens with song. A labyrinth of freedom unfolded as Jackson Pollock danced, spilling his whiskey in the most exquisite splattering ever commissioned by God. Let's all drink blessed wine until dawn, painting refractions of purple, gold, and pink across the ink-washed indigo horizon, staring wide-eyed into the rising orb. As our nirvanas collide, we satyrs and angels applaud the coming of new dawn and celebrating the death of decrepit old sciences, meditating with reverence in anticipation of the impending explosion. Thank you guys very much. Thank you.